wanted to try something new. So we're going to do a get ready with me video um, where I'm going to show you how I do like my everyday makeup face. Um, I don't use a lot of fancy products. Mostly it's like what I found in the makeup aisle at Target. That's what we're gonna do. I guess without further ado, I'll just like tell you how we start out. First thing I normally like in the morning, I shower at night. So every morning I basically just like throw my hair up to get it out of my face. And that's when I preheat like any heat styling tools I'll use. Next, if I remember, because I'm really bad at taking care of my face and my skin, I will moisturize. I just use this Neutrogena um, oil-free moisture. It's got sunscreen in it. I'm pretty sure I did this in the wrong order, but it's what I do. Basically, I'm gonna start with this like concealer crayon, L'Oreal True Match. And I don't know what color this is. Oh. I'm gonna get better at this someday. Um, N123 Fair Light. Pale, no sun here in Michigan. Um, I watch not that many makeup videos, but um, the ones I do, like they always say like to do a triangle under your eyes, so I do. Uh, it's gonna run down here. So we'll start here. I don't blend it yet. Uh, then I take like my foundation. I don't like super like cakey full coverage, but this is pretty good and it's kind of like a matte finish. I use L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 103 Natural Buff because I'm pale AF. Um, I just like to shake it up and then I just put a little dollop uh, right on my hand and then I dip my beauty blender right in. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but that's what I do. Like I've seen other people like dot it on their face. I don't do it that way. So I just like, just get a little bit and then I kind of just blend it in and that will blend in the concealer too. And I take it up all the way into my hairline because you want it to like, blend and I just keep doing that. The best part about makeup is that like you end up making the craziest faces that like you don't even plan on making, you just make them. Just kind of get it all over. I don't have a lot of patience for things that like take a lot of time. So I'm like a kind of quick and dirty. <laughs> I get it out to my ears and then down my neck. You don't want it to look streaky. You want it to look blended. See my hand, it's like almost gone. I haven't worn makeup in I don't know how long. <laughs> um, maybe like once a week I'll put makeup on. TBH, it's normally Wednesdays because I have to be on webcam for my dub dub meeting um, for my Zoom call. And it feels good to get like actually dressed at least one day a week. Okay, so that's blended. I don't have any more left. My face is covered. We're blended, my skin tone's even. So next I'm gonna set it with powder. I use CoverGirl True Blend Minerals. Um, the color's 200, light, pale AF. Again, no sunshine here in Michigan. Um, and then I use like, this is an ELF Kabuki brush. It needs work, but it's like one of my faves. But yeah, so like, I try to like, get dressed and like actually ready. I'll do my hair every day, at least run my like, my flat iron through it because I shower at night, like I said, and then that leaves like my hair crazy. 
um, when I wake up because I have like kind of naturally wavy curly hair, but it's not like cute. It's like inconsistent, wild, like tight curls over here, but just like weird, uncomfortable waves over there. So like, again, I get it like in my ears, up in my hairline, and I only loaded up my brush twice. Um, I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do. I think it is. But, and then down your neck, because you want, one, I want my foundation to set. I don't want it to be tacky. Um, I want it to be like smooth. And then the other part is that like, I like that this kind of has like a shimmer to it, not a lot, but there's like a light shimmer. And then I just feel like it kind of evens out the rest of my skin tone. So that's, that's what we do next. Then we're gonna contour. So I love this Wet n Wild palette. I saw it on Ally Seagull's Ally Things Beauty channel. She does like a Thursday night get ready with me and it's like my favorite thing. So she used this one time, I was like super surprised. And I have it in two different colors, but I prefer the darker one. Even though I keep saying I'm pale AF. Um, this is the lighter one, Dolce de Leche. And then there's caramel toffee, caramel, whatevs. Um, it just really is what I decide that day. They're not that different. Well, you can tell that this one's a little bit darker, but I'm gonna go with the darker one, just, just to get a little bit bronzed. Um, so I start with a angled, I don't know what this is. It's like a Meyer brush. I don't know, I got it in my stocking. Um, so this is my favorite brush because it's angled for contouring. And I basically just hang out in the darker color. So I load up my brush and then I watched this on one of Allie's like Thursday nights. And she basically like divides her face into quadrants and that's how you contour. So. I just make sure my hair is pulled back and then I start and basically work myself down. So up at the hairline, I start and then I just kind of brush it so that we get some coverage and it looks like we're like a little bit sun kissed. And we'll do the same on this side. My hair is really staticky. And then so it's not crazy, but there is some dimension now to my face. And then I'm gonna go right along the sides to kind of like accentuate my, my cheekbones, I guess. So I just kind of go for it. Again with a crazy face, I don't break it all the way to my edge of my like mouth, but that's kind of like the line that you wanna follow. And again, I take it like all the way up into my ear. Like I don't want there to be like a stopping point where somebody's like, oh, what is she doing? <laughs> so I just dig in. And again, it's just to add like a little bit of contrast. Now it looks like I have mutton chops, but I promise it doesn't stay that way. And then you wanna do like your jawbone to kind of add definition there. And I kind of go on the under, under side because you want to create like a shadow. Okay. And then Allie said that if you do like your, I have a birthmark there, but if you do like right here, it'll help kind of hide whatever like number of chins you have down there. So I'm always trying to just prove that I have maybe just one chin. So I do it just in case it's true. <laughs> So yeah, you wanna do like a, a line right underneath here. One chin, it's magic. Um, and then this I think is a foundation brush. Yeah, foundation and concealer brush. It's a, like a duo side. I use this one just to do the sides of my nose. I don't always do this, but I'm gonna, cause why not? Um, and it just like is a smaller angle than my other brush. So that's what I'm gonna use. And you just go like along the edge of your nose. And then on the underside, right at the tip. Cute. Neato. 
All right, and then I don't really use the this side of it. That's not my thing. So after I do that, then I put on some blush. This is like a Clinique brush from forever ago. I'm pretty sure I stole it from my mom. It's like been beaten to shit, um, but I still use it and I like it. I'm using a Maybelline New York Fit Me blush. This is number 30, Rose. What else? So I just like load up my brush and then I kind of make a weird face so that I can get the apples of my cheeks to show up. And then I just like go to town and I pull it all the way up. And it sits basically just above where we contoured. Again, crazy face. Just to kind of soften like the shadow that we just built. And then I like to go in just above my eyebrows and just hit it lightly um, to make it look like maybe I have like a light sunburn um, and make it seem like there is sunshine here in Michigan. So I just like hit it above each one lightly. Not so like you can actually see color, but it's like there's a little bit of sun, a little bit of sunshine on my face. So I've got two kinds of highlighter. I really, really love this one. You can tell it's very well loved. It's almost gone and I haven't been able to find it again. It's wet and wild. And I saw this again on Ali Studio's channel. Um, this highlighting, I can't find it. So maybe it's gone. And I bought this one as a, like a trying to replace it. It's not the same. Um, so I alternate between both of these, but I'm gonna use this one just because I just told you it's my favorite and why not? Um, this brush I got at Sephora, it's a highlighting brush. Um, and I just like to load it up. It's so almost gone. So my brush, and then I'm just gonna highlight on my cheekbones, down my nose, um, I keep it's bow and above my eyebrows. So we'll do that. Oh, I also like, I always forget cause I don't do it on the daily, um, but you can highlight or you can contour down here underneath your bottom lip just to make it look like your bottom lip is a little bit more full. Um, so here we go. And you don't want like a ton. You just want it. So like when the light does catch it, it's there. And it's not your whole cheek. It's just like on the very top. Like it's kind of like a layer, like a little bit of a rainbow. And then remember we contoured in the, on the edge of my nose. So we go down the middle. Do Cupid's bow. I like to do my face first to get that out of the way. I know some people do their face last because they're uh, the fall the fallout from their eye makeup, but I don't really have trouble with that. So, and I'm not doing anything crazy. Okay. So face is basically done. The next thing I'm gonna jump to is my brows. I'm not crazy about brows. I don't know how to do it. This is like the natural shape of my brows. And quarantine times are rough. Like I had to wax my own with those little Nair wax strips. I don't know. It's the wild west out here and I'm basically a pioneer. So it is what it is. Um, so I'm using, I got this for Christmas and I love it. Um, Brow Blade by Urban Decay. I do, I don't know how to use a pencil, so I don't. And I use the ink stain side. It's got this like little tip, like a little marker. Um, and I basically just go in and fill in kind of by hand, make my own brush strokes uh, to fill in my brows, make them seem a little bit thicker. Um, so I'm gonna look crazy for a minute. It's very serious business. And I basically just do it in the front and I don't really pay that close attention to the end. What color is this? 
neutral nana so it's kind of dark but i've got dark hair so it's okay that i can have like dark bold brows if i don't do like anything to my eyes though i sometimes feel like my brows get like too too much maybe i just don't have a strong enough personality to handle super bold brows maybe i'm too mousy okay all right so that's good enough as far as I'm concerned. Um, and then I have like a couple of brow pencils with like one of these spoolies on the end. This one is ELF. Hey Target. I know it's not a Target brand, but that's where I got it. And this is called Wow Brow and it's like their dark brown color. I think it's probably the darkest one they make. I'm trying to have light brows. Okay, so it's got this like tiny spoolie and I just go in and I feel like it just kind of like, it's supposed to have fibers in it, this one does, but basically it's like tint. So it just, I feel like it fills in any spots that needed it after I did the brow blade. And then also helps move my brow hairs in the direction that I want them to go. Oh, so I was saying like once a week, I have my dub dub meeting and I really like to like it feels good in these quarantine times of like yoga pants and leggings all day and all the fleece because I can. I'm not going anywhere. Um, like I try one day at least now to get all the way ready just because I know about me that like routine is something that I thrive on and it helps like my mental health like it's it's all about self-care um i feel like i want to cut that but i'm not gonna we're just gonna let it I'm just gonna let its free flag fly so that's my face um foundation concealer contour blush highlight brows now it's eyes and that's basically that's the road home so this is ELF Eye Primer and Liner Sealer. I never ever use the liner sealer. I don't know how or what it's for. Um, Cause it's like clear and it has like this little white tip that's, I don't, I don't know what that is, but I like this primer. It makes my eyes tacky and I feel like there's a lot of people that are like, oh, you don't want your face, like you don't want your makeup to be tacky. I don't feel like this does anything other than hold my eyeshadow in place. Like it doesn't crease, it doesn't like get cakey. I feel like it keeps my makeup in place all day and my eyeshadow doesn't smudge or move. So I just like kind of lightly pile this on to each eye and I don't go all the way up to my brow but I go up past my crease a little bit. And then, again, with the drugstore makeup. So, I'm all about nudes. This is a nude palette. None of the colors have names. This is a Maybelline New York palette. I don't even know if they still make it, but like, you could do this with any sort of neutral um, or nude palette that you have. This is just an eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with this like lighter, color for the inner corner. So I'll load up my brush. And I just go like maybe halfway over. So like I thrive on routine and it, and I noticed like when I was going through my postpartum depression, I noticed that like my self care like hugely diminished. Like I didn't want to shower. I didn't want to put makeup on. I didn't want to do my hair. And then like that led to me feeling even worse about myself. Um, so I noticed that's one thing that like makes me feel like me is getting up and getting ready. So that's why like, even if I'm not going to put makeup on, which the first probably three weeks of quarantine I did, I'm going to use like a blender eyeshadow brush. And I'm gonna go in with a darker color. 
I'm gonna mix these two sparkly browns. Um, I just noticed that like, I didn't feel good about myself. Like I didn't feel good about how I looked physically on top of obviously like the body issues that I was having, having a body post baby, but um, just makeup and getting my hair done and getting up and getting ready as part of my routine just helps me feel like me. So I find even if I'm not gonna put makeup on, I at least need to get up, brush my teeth, do my hair, and then I can wear leggings and, and you know go get the baby. But I gotta do something. And it does kind of like make me feel good about myself when I see myself on that one day, maybe a week that I do do makeup, that it feels good. I'm like, oh, there I am. So I guess that's like, that's been a really wild thing about these times. So what I'm doing is like, I basically just move this in like a circular motion on the edge corner and I take it all the way up into my crease. Um, and I do kind of pull it all the way in to blend it. And I don't think my eye shapes are the same on both sides, but I try to get them like the same general look. Um, and really I ended up only just using this top one. I think that's probably dark enough. Um, next is liner. And this is my favorite liner. So this is Kat Von D's tattoo liner. Um, she also makes like an ink liner, which I bought by mistake one time. And I just like the tattoo liner. They're both waterproof and they're both in trooper black. The tattoo liner, I feel like is just like inherently darker, sits better on top of eyeshadow than the ink liner. If I wasn't wearing shadow, especially since I like wear kind of like shimmery eyeliner it, or eyeshadow, it just, I feel like this just sits better. So it's a liquid liner, like a pen, uh, like a pen tip. So this is gonna get crazy. So I pull my eye and I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but. I do, so I'll probably have wrinkles someday, but it's just how I do it. And I get like right along my lash line and I just kind of go back and forth and I'm like super light touch. I don't want a huge line. Like I don't want it to be super thick. I just want it to be there to outline my eyes. And I wing it out first. Not a super heavy wing. It's just a little bit there. And then I pull it in. Then the trick is, can you get this eye to look like this one? Okay. Still, again, super light all along the lash line. This is what I mean. I don't feel like my eyes are the same shape. So the wings always look different. There's, there's beauty and imperfection. Okay, that's it. I'm calling it. Let me just like fix this. We're gonna call that good. And now for our mascara, I use Too Faced Better Than Sex. Um, a good dupe that I was using is this, this is L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. It's a pretty good dupe, because you can't find this at Target. This is Ulta and Sephora. This is one I love. It makes me basic, I don't know. I don't care, I like it. So I just go in and attack my top lashes first. If I, even if I'm gonna decide that I'm gonna wear like magnetic lashes, I'll still go in with a little bit of actual mascara and call it good. If you can hear my husband in the background, I apologize. 
I know that this is annoying that like people do their mascara for like five years. I don't know if it makes a difference, but I feel like it's more volume when I get to go over it like 40,000 times. And I feel like my lashes aren't that thick or full or long. So I feel like I need all the help I can get. Oh, what is he doing? Okay. Sometimes husbands just can make you crazy. You know how sometimes you're like doing this and then you like stick it into your eyeball and your eyes like, oh, please don't do that. That just happened. What else? And then we're gonna do the bottom. The heck is that? Guys. I feel like it's physically impossible to do like mascara with out your eye, without your mouth open. One more, just because I can't help myself. Okay, okay, okay. That's my face. So I never, ever, ever do lip product because I forget I'm that low maintenance. Basically, I just suck. So I use like a chapstick, normal. That's what I do if I remember. Actually, I do it first thing when I wake up after I brush my teeth. And then I do have Sephora lipstick, I guess. I don't know what, oh. It's like this berry-ish color. This is very, very potent. So like I just use a little bit and then like rub it in. It's like, I'm not trying to look like I'm going somewhere if I'm just hanging out with my baby at home. I'm not that extra. So for real, that's it. Okay. So that's the face. And then I'll just pull my hair down. Okay. So that's my everyday look. This is it. My hair's long, need a haircut, just like everybody else in the US. So yeah, this is the everyday look. <laughs> maybe you learned something, maybe you didn't. You learned about me needing to get ready one day a week. So I hope you had fun getting ready with me. Normally it takes me 10 minutes maybe, um, but I spend so much time talking to you guys and like instructing how I was doing it that um, it took forever long. So thanks for watching. Have a good day, guys. Bye.